This one's called Where My Country Gone. If you guys want the full reaction, early access, link down below to the Patreon. Also, come say what's up on Instagram and Discord. But let's get into it. Let's go. With the White House. Now, last week we were all reminded that intolerance still exists in our country. It took a very special young student to light up social media. And we've invited him to the White House today to show our appreciation. Who's that? How Bravlowski <laughs> speaks about his hero, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my God, wow. They're really continuing it. You see? There. Everyone's preaching openness and acceptance, and so now millions of goddamn immigrants are coming over the border and nobody seems to care. Jeez. In today's world, it's like you can't even say anything negative about illegal immigrants. <laughs> Randy. Did somebody over here say illegal immigrants? Because the correct term is undocumented immigrants. All right, bro? Come on, like bro. Nobody cares. And they just keep coming, crossing the border with their dirty families. Jeez. Just look at them. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's going on, fam? Hey, buddy. I got a moose head, eh? <laughs> is it just Canadians? My natural assumption wasn't to assume that it would be Canadians. I would naturally assume it's somewhere that's not the West, essentially. You know, maybe Africa, perhaps a little bit of Asia. You know, them type of sides, but... Leave it to South Park to uh, subvert expectations and show that it's Canadians. <laughs> we should have put up a goddamn wall. Oh, Christ. Kyle, we want to make your dreams come true. And so here is your hero, Caitlyn Jenner. Damn. Oh, that's how she looks. I just want to say thank you, Kyle, for your beautiful words of support. Now, Kyle, we got another little surprise for you. You're getting a ride back all the way with your hero. How do you like that? <laughs> I wonder if Sopa got any flack for actually drawing her the way that they did, like her design. You know, I mean, some could argue she actually looks like that. I've not seen her face in so long that I can't even. <laughs> I don't think this is accurate. This isn't accurate, right? But yeah. <laughs> Fun. Oh! Didn't this actually happen? Did she kill someone? I think that happened. Our government has decided to let anyone who wants to cross the border and screw up our country. I know you're all pissed off as I am. Who can tell me why Rome fell to shit? No, somebody who matters. Oh. All right, fine, in the orange shirt. The Roman Empire, buddy, was facing a seven- Orange? Yeah. Speaking English! You see, what happened, and then the Goths suddenly decided they were being oppressed, you see? And so then... What the hell are you doing? It's 8 a.m., guy. It's their traditions, isn't it? Why don't you Canucks go back where you came from? Canucks. Oh, my God. I mean, obviously, Garrison's reaction is unnecessary, in it? The only thing I can say towards the kids doing that is if you're obviously in the States, it probably would be best that you abide by their rules, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? Can't be doing that. <laughs> I mean, it's harmless, essentially, but I think you get what I'm saying. Hey, see, Principal, they got up in the middle of my lecture and started playing music. So did you forget that at 8 and 11, all Canadians face East and play Chuck Mangione? <laughs> or did you not care to find out about their religious customs? Eesh. They don't even speak English. Mackie, sign the faculty up for Canadian language night classes. Damn. What? Ask me, see, Principal, r r right away. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Garrison. Get in line or you'll be out of a job, bro. That's nuts. That is nuts. Ugh, so weird. There's just so many of them. You guys, I think this whole thing is a conspiracy. What do you mean? Kyle gives a big speech about tolerance and acceptance that goes viral. A bunch of Canadians cross the border illegally. Kyle's brother is Canadian. What if Kyle knowingly gave that speech to get all the illegals in? I'm sitting right here. And he's sitting right here. <laughs> oh, dude, you really come on. think just my speech brought on a wave of illegal immigration? It's just, I know you like giving speeches and stuff, but not everything is black and white. Yeah, I mean, it's fine you want to go preach about Caitlyn Jenner, but you can't just make blanket statements about letting anyone do whatever they want. I'm not responsible for this. Illegal immigration has been happening forever. But it's happening a lot more now because you want to bring down the cultural fabric of America because you're a Jew. You guys, immigrants, either legal or illegal, are always going to find ways to cross into richer countries. Oh, boy, if here we go living... again. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I can't listen to another one either. Oh, I hear that, you know. I mean, he's. I think he's speaking facts by the sounds of it. You know, they always find a way. Of course, but you know, sometimes people just can't be asked to hear the truth, and that's why the kids walked away essentially. You know, <laughs> they're like, you know what, fuck, I don't want to hear it. My name is Mr. Sticky Dick in My Bows. Uh. We are going to learn Canadian, so why don't we begin singing it together? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L, M, N, O, B, D, T, U, F, D, W, X, A, and Susie likes hairy balls. What do you think of these? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh -oh. J, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, D, He's transforming into something. Where has my country gone? Oh! All these other assholes are coming here. <laughs> and where's my country gone? Wait, wait, hold on. The US was originally inhabited by Native Americans, right? <laughs> so what's Garrison on about? Like, I get that they've been the majority for a, probably a considerable amount of time, more than the natives. Perhaps, I don't actually know. But for him to say that... <laughs> It's like, wait, hold on. You're not even a native of the land as well. So in some aspects, I mean, you could say you're just the same as the Canadians. You've just been there longer, you know? You might have been born there as well, but, you know? And my country's gone. It took 43 presidents to make us stand tall. And just one black guy to unravel it all. <laughs> country's gone. Oh, Baba, yeah. Back home. Oh, they've actually got letters as well. Nice. There's a great thing. Damn, dude. Everyone's afraid to speak the truth around here. Now, I might not understand politics or immigration policies, but damn it, I understand there's a bunch of Canadians here and I'm gonna do something about it. Bruh. In order for better understanding, we've asked students of Canadian origin to introduce you to their culture and hey, Leslie, shut your fucking mouth. We are the Hopewell and Abenaki, first settlers of Canadian soil, guys. Yeah, and I'm Dan Rather, and I got news for you. Nobody wants you here. Make our country great again. <laughs> and I'm also not afraid to stand up to PC principle. Oh. You, sir, have a pizza face, and you suck your mom's dick. You are fired from South Park Elementary. There's only one immigration policy that I believe in, and that's fuck them all to death. Damn. I'm just saying what everyone's thinking here, kids. Whoa. What made Mr. Garrison do that? Guys, what if this was all exactly what Kyle planned? Fuck. Get the Canadians here, make them feel persecuted, and then what? Uprisings, rebellion, next thing you know, they're sending us to camps and using us as livestock. You know the thing with Cartman, he actually believes this, you know? <laughs> like, his theories, as wild as they are. But then again, I mean, obviously not. South Park would do that to you sometimes, you know? They'll make you think what the character's saying is crazy, and then it might end up being true. But I don't think, I'm certain Kyle didn't actually plan for this to happen, right? I hope. You, mean, Jeez. you know, what's that story about the two sides that were fighting and then a guy from one side got with a girl from the other side and their love sort of brought the groups together? The Romeo Lion Judea? King 2? Yes, Lion King 2. I mean, if we can get one of us to go out with one of them, then it could be a symbol of us all getting along. Yeah, it's kind of like when the princess of one country marries the prince of another. You guys, when two groups of people don't understand each other, you can't just try and diffuse attention. Is he seriously, little... is he seriously giving a speech right now? <laughs> oh. He's just not allowed to talk anymore. One, two, three, not it. Not it, not it, not it, not it. Oh, shit. Oh, butters. Is he actually gonna do it, though? Damn. The court is growing for a Colorado man who claims the way to deal with illegal immigrants is to fuck them all to death. <laughs> we go live to Minnesota. So stupid. Mr. Garrison, you believe the immigration problem is easy to solve. Yes, let's make this country great again. And when you say... So he's a parody of Trump, right? Because I remember Trump was saying some outlandish stuff in his first term and uh yeah garrison's saying some crazy shits right now fuck them all to death what are you actually suggesting be done fuck them until their spirits leave their bodies come on usa we build a big wall uh, uh, down, down. this is crazy we're getting word that a wall has already been built uh, who? union is confirming that canada has built a wall to keep us out oh they built a wall fuck them to death damn the uno reversed them bro <laughs> Fair enough. I do think this genuinely pissed off Americans if this happened this way. Well, you can come into Canada or Mexico uh, in regards to Trump, right? Can they do that? Look, we came to speak with your government about that. Yeah, no, sorry. Can't go past. <laughs> yeah. We're Americans. We don't even want to be over there. That's just about Look, enough. just some really cool shit back here and we don't feel like sharing it. <laughs> cool shit like what? It's all right, Karen. No, goddammit, let me see. Oh, God. Tables are turned. In the glasses, she's kind of hot. I don't want a Canadian girlfriend, Eric. Okay, you just want a race war? No. 
Okay. Hi, my name's Butters. What's yours? I'm Charlotte. I've never done this before. You think Scar's up there? He wasn't my father, but he's still part of me. We'll run away together and... And... Banking too? And start a pride all of our own. Tom, the scene at the Canadian border is electric as several political leaders try and strategize how to deal with being shut out of Canada. Uh -huh, accept the it. The Canadian government wants to put up a wall, they have every right. And yet we must ask why they thought this to be necessary. Is no, you've got a gaping gash and you've got vinegary balls. The Canadians can't do this. Hundreds of thousands of their people are over here illegally. Oh, you guys didn't put up a wall? And you keep your <laughs> goddamn mouth shut. Here you go. Harrison, mate. I'm sorry, I didn't know what ice cream was. Oh, hey, that's neato. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's also similar in the UK. That's, that's, I could argue that's maybe one of the most used words within a sentence. Obviously not every sentence in it, but you know, walking past someone, sorry. Uh, if you want someone to hand you something over, sorry, can you hand me that over? You know, use sorry quite a lot, to be honest. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what do you want? Have you given her the old hot Cosby yet? No, we saw a movie and now we're going to the park. Didn't you get in what trouble for saying that? Time for that. If I'm going to be with this girl, I don't want her someday thinking it was all super rushed. Time is of the essence. We're all going to die. At least Butter's got respect, dude, Everything you know? All right? Yeah, just some work-related stuff. I wanted to see if you wanted to come over to my house for dinner tomorrow. Yes, I'd love to. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be surprised Butter says respect like that, you know? But, yeah, it's nice to see, you know? Okay, that's, that's good. Watch the bowels. This guy's nuts. Right, give me the helmet. Send a drone. I am, friends. I'm a doer. I'm going into their country. USA! 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 I'm surprised Wendy. Is that Wendy's dad or... Is that Jimmy's dad? Is that Jimmy or Wendy's dad? Oh, gosh. Might be Wendy's. I'm surprised he'd be on Garrison's side if that's him. You know, I always seemed him more to be on the other side of things. A bit more accepting. If it is Wendy's dad. My <laughs> dad. He gone. So, young man. Poutine? Well, uh, well, yes, sir. I suppose you have a thing for Canadian girls, huh? Is that it? You've got maple fever? Uh, Daddy! Hi, Charlotte, but I get suspicious. It's bad enough we have to live in America. That's enough, Thomas. You don't want to be here? Why would we want to be here? That's all confused. Well, you know, because everything is great here and we have cool stuff. <sighs> There were several candidates during the Canadian elections. One of them was this sprash asshole who just spoke his mind. We thought it was funny. Trump. Nobody really thought he'd ever be president. It was a joke. But we just let the joke go on for too long. We weren't paying attention. Oh, shit. We weren't paying attention! <laughs> Jeez, how bad can a president be? You tell those pussy homos they can suck my balls! <laughs> pussy homos. And tell the Prime Minister of China that he can suck my balls. Oh, and Johnson? Mr. President? Suck my bars. Oh, jeez. Canadian Trump. And the US is about to get Garrison Trump as well, looks like. I'm sorry about my papa. He can be really emotional sometimes. You don't got to be sorry. It's me who should be sorry. <laughs> sorry? Well, I was supposed to give you a hot Cosby so our species could coexist. So do you want to be here? There's really nowhere I'd rather be. You know, I'd like to try a nice slow Cosby instead. <laughs> They're actually connecting, nice. Cute. That's not Butters' first kiss though, is it? I don't think it is. He's been a pimp before. I think he got kisses when he was a pimp. A shooting star. In Canada, we say that's good luck. Make a wish. Is he in Canada? He's on foreign soil now. Whoa! Hello? It was just a front, was it? Is this in some way symbolic? You know how Trump wanted to create the war, right? Like, the war is essentially a front. The country's in ruins, but the war gives it the perception that they're keeping something cool within the country, but really it's just all, like, going to shit, essentially. Jeez. Hey! Where is everyone, guy? <laughs> oh, no. Jay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna escalate this, bro. I'm guessing this is the building he's at. Yep. <laughs> we can dance if we want to. We can leave your 
<laughs> How did That's a good song, actually. Didn't get past my wall. Where my country gone? No, where my country gone, bitch? Nobody talks to me like that, buddy. Oh, yeah, there I'm she going at it. He's a wrestler. Hey, what the? Uh, hey, that pokes, buddy. Uh, no. Sniffing salts. Is he doing what I think he is? He is, isn't he? Oh my god. Oh, look at them, Thomas. I think they really oh. like each other. The Canadian president's been fucked to death. Yes! Are you sure? Should we go back to Canada then? <clears throat> yes, sir, I guess let's go back. Oh my god. That means Butters' his girlfriend's going as well. <laughs> look at their wheels. No. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, true. Uh, Should have done the hot <laughs> Chill, dude. Don't say that, bro. My policies work to get things done, and I'm gonna keep this going all the way to Washington. Shit. Hold on, wait. Don't you see? <laughs> if there's anything we've learned, we let this kind of. <laughs> I just feel like he's gonna get called out again for having a speech. <laughs> We set it up to be fair. Unbelievable. Oh my days. I have to say goodbye now. Just let it happen, Kyle. I'm off to Washington. Buckle up, buckaroo. What a jewel. She definitely killed someone in real life. Or at least drove them over, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, let's see. Because Same I'm thing? Same thing. Oh my god. Good episode. Very, very good episode. I mean, it's continuing everything from the previous one. I really didn't expect that what Kyle had said in the Stunning and Brave episode, the first one of season 19, would backfire in this sense. Because him essentially endorsing Caitlyn Jenner has um, caused essentially all of this to happen. But again, Canadians are back home. I'm glad um, they can at least live in peace without Canadian Trump ruining everything, you know? um but yeah good episode but is his girlfriend she's gone back i don't know if that probably will continue right because everything seems to be going in um a continuation over a span of a season so that's gonna be interesting to see how that goes down but yeah i mean so far so good man they're setting up a lot of cool things so i'm excited to see how it goes but yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did consider liking subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one take it easy and peace